The final type of reaction for us to cover in this series is a combustion reaction. In this video, we're going to look at what a combustion reaction is, what the general formula looks like, what is a hydrocarbon, and some tips for balancing combustion reactions. To begin with, a combustion reaction takes place when a hydrocarbon burns in the presence of oxygen and it produces water plus carbon dioxide. So these are called combustion reactions because you actually have burning taking place. The beauty of a combustion reaction is that the products are always the same. You will always produce water plus carbon dioxide. The only thing that changes about this reaction is your hydrocarbon and how it is balanced. So what is a hydrocarbon? A hydrocarbon is a compound made up of carbons and hydrogens covalently bonded together. Hydrocarbons follow this general formula. So the formula is CnH2n plus 2. This means that for a normal hydrocarbon, if you know the number of carbons, you can predict the number of hydrogens. This is methane. Methane has one carbon. So in the formula, you would plug a 1 in for N. So to figure out the number of hydrogens, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4. Methane is expected to have 4 hydrogens. This is hexane. Hexane has 6 carbons, so we would be plugging a 6 in for N. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 2 is 14, meaning we expect hexane to have 14 hydrogens. Predicting the products of a combustion reaction is incredibly easy. You always have your hydrocarbon plus oxygen, and every single time you're going to produce water plus carbon dioxide. Lastly, we need to discuss the balancing of combustion reactions. So I'm going to show you two examples. One is going to work fairly simply, and the second is going to require a little tweaking. In the case of combustion reactions, Notice that on the right hand side, oxygens are split, and any time an element is split on one side, I always recommend balancing that element last. So for a combustion reaction, I recommend balancing the carbons first, then the hydrogens, and the oxygens last. In this first example, there's one carbon on the left and one on the right. That's balanced. There are four hydrogens on the left and only two on the right, so we'll need to put a two right here. And then in terms of the oxygens, there are two on the left. On the right hand side, there are two here plus two here for a total of four. So I'm going to need to put a two right here to complete the balancing of the reaction. That one was fairly straightforward. For our next reaction, I'm going to recommend that you write in pencil because we're going to be doing some tweaking along the way. To begin with, there are six carbons on the left, so I need to put a six here to balance those. Then there are 14 hydrogens on the left, so there should be a seven here to balance the hydrogens. Once I've balanced the carbons and the hydrogens, I run into a problem with the oxygens. On the left-hand side, I have two oxygens, that's an even number. On the right hand side, I have seven here plus 12 here for a total of 19, which is an odd number. So you run into a problem balancing the number of oxygens. It makes you need to put a 9.5 here to make it balanced. And hopefully that makes you cringe a little bit. You should not have a half of an atom or a half of a molecule in your balanced equation. You should have whole numbers. So at this point, we are balanced, but we have this 0.5 that we need to fix. In order to fix that, you can go in and multiply all of your coefficients by two. So I'm gonna take this one up to a two, the 9.5 is going up to a 19, the 7 is going to a 14, and the 6 is going to a 12. At that point, all of my numbers are whole numbers and my reaction is balanced. And this is a pretty common problem for combustion reactions. So some combustion reactions are very simple to balance. Some you run into this problem with the oxygens where you have to go in and multiply all of the coefficients by two. But the beauty of your combustion reaction, 
your products are always water and carbon dioxide. That wraps up our series on chemical reactions. Stick around as we start to talk about the mole.